All right, guys, so this is it. It is uh, Friday morning. It is February 24th. Currently 20 past seven, and I am driving from Plymouth up to the University of Bath. Now, if you've been keeping an eye on my social media uh, this month, in particular during last week, you would have seen that I made the announcement that I've applied for and also been uh, accepted to trial for the Invictus Games this year, 2017, over in Toronto, in Canada. Now I am currently on the way to Bath University for my first ever uh, adaptive sport, disabled sport, Paralympic type sport day ever. I, I've never ever done anything like this before in my life. Um, most of you know my story in the beginning my sole focus was leaving my wheelchair behind and becoming a full-time prosthetic user. Uh, that was a, a main aim for me, was to regain my independence that way and also to secure a career uh, and a job and a career so I could provide for my family. And I never really got involved in sports initially because as a triple amputee, uh, I would be competing against single amputees and double amputees and I really didn't think that I had a chance. Uh, and these guys were incredible athletes and they were killing it and they were doing great and, and I just didn't feel like I was up to it uh, physically. I didn't think I would ever have any chance of competing with these guys. And so I threw myself into other endeavours. Uh, like you know, like I said, uh, my career, um, learning to walk again, but you know, having left the wheelchair behind, which I did in June 2009. But now I feel that the time is right. I feel like everything is on track. Uh, I have a career. I have uh, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, at this time in particular, I'm writing my second book. I'm just about to start filming No Limits, a documentary with my friend Matt Elliott. So things are going really well at the minute. And I decided that because of that, because I've got all my ducks in a row, so to speak, that now was the time to kind of just go for it and then see what it is I'm capable of. Now, even before I was injured, I never did anything like this. I've never been a, a track athlete, if you like. I've never been a runner, a rower, a swimmer. I never did any of that. Um, you guys probably already know that I, you know, I boxed as a Marine. I, I kickboxed and tie boxed as a civilian and as a Royal Marine. Uh, I was never into football, rugby, or any of these kind of things. So it's all very new to me. I have no idea what I'm doing, and that's honest. I have no idea about techniques. Um, I don't know this world. This world is new to me. Uh, all I do know is I've watched my friends and my colleagues do this over the years since the Invictus game started, and I've had an itch. I've seen what they've done, and it has been incredible, and it's been inspiring, and you know these guys are, are, are incredible at what they do, and I kind of feel I don't know, I just want to get involved now. So I'm going at the bath now. Over this weekend, I should be being introduced to rowing, to swimming, and potentially, I've got my running blades in the back, and even though I hate running, um, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna have a look and see what it is they've got to offer. I also wanna do hand biking. Uh, that's not available this weekend, but I've got another, another one of these events coming up in Wales in next month. So I'm going to go and see what it's all about. I'm going to have a go. Uh, I'm going to meet some people, ask some questions, see what level I'm at, if any level whatsoever, and get a good idea and a good grounding of where it is I've got to start from now. We are in the University of Bath. I'm in the complete wrong place. So I'm going to head over to the other side of uh, campus, as they call it, find the sports village, and then hopefully Grab a bunch of footage. All right, so that is day one done. I'm not gonna lie, it was actually a lot tougher than I thought it was gonna be. I went straight in uh, to the rowing, where literally having no knowledge of rowing at all, um, was thrown at a deep end, straight off, uh, it doesn't sound a lot, but a four minute sprint, followed by a rest, followed by a one minute sprint, then followed by a, a bit of a longer rest, and then three 10 minute hit sessions, starting with, I think I remember rightly, two minutes, uh, what they call paddling, 
30 second sprint, two minutes paddling, 30 second sprint. Then it was a minute and a half paddling, uh, 30 second sprint, minute and a half paddling, 30 second sprint. Then a minute paddling, 30 second sprint. So that was three hours of rowing uh, straight away, hour for lunch, straight into the pool. And I can honestly say, uh, hand on heart, I have never, I don't think, swam that many lengths of a 50 meter pool. So it was good. Um, I'm pretty tired, if I'm honest. I'm going to go back to my hotel now and get some rest, get some good food in my in my uh, body to refuel because we've got the same tomorrow. But it is a great feeling to have taken the step and to start. And, and I've, I've met up with a bunch of guys that I know from Headley Court, a bunch of new guys that I've never met before who are competing. So it's been good. And there's a, a huge buzz in our circle, if you like, Um and it feels again like being back in the military. You know, the camaraderie's back. So I will check in with you guys again. Um, if I have anything of interest to say, I probably will tomorrow. Uh, and I'll be heading home tomorrow too. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Enjoy. All right, good morning. It is day two. It's, uh, what time is it? Half past five, Saturday morning. Ready for day two of the Invictus Games training camps. And today... Uh, we're repeating what it is with yesterday. So we're going to do some rowing. We're going to do some swimming. And I'm hoping today I can ask a few questions about, you know, rowing techniques, swimming techniques. It's very hard, I think, for the coaches because there are so many of us here. Uh, and they're just getting a, a generic, I think, overall view of each person, each, um, each person in each category. Uh, what it is they're doing and just getting out, you know, to know people and, and seeing about them. So I'm going to try and grab five minutes with the coaches, uh, ask for some, some tips and some advice. I'm also going to start trying to figure out what classification I'm going to be given so I know who I'm competing against. And then I can do some research on, la uh, yeah, sorry, last year's games uh, or in Orlando. So I can see what classification I'm in, check out the events that I'm going to compete in and then see what kind of times it is that I've got to try and nail to have any chance of meddling at the Games this year. So I'm going to drag myself up now, uh, get myself ready, get over there for eight and then have another day of kicking my ass and I will check in as I like to do. With you guys a little bit later. Well, that's it. Um, that's day two over of the first Invictus Games 2017 training camps here in Bath. And it has been awesome. Um, so this camp specifically, as, as you know, was for um, swimming and rowing for me. And it's been awesome. I'm, I'm pretty beaten up if i'm honest i've got bruises on my stomach while i was rowing and my hook just kept on smashing into uh the upper part of my stomach all the back of my arm here has been chafed and rubbed raw because of my prosthetic through rowing at a introduction to swimming which is not my strongest point i used to be a great swimmer not so much anymore but all in all it has been great and I'm very much looking forward to the next camp which is fortunately for me in Plymouth it's three days of swimming I've met some great people um, both old and young all retired military obviously um, some left the service 20 30 years ago some are still serving um, so I made some new friends I've caught up with some old friends and all in all it's been brilliant um, I had a sneaky look at some times from last year. I, I spoke to one of the coaches and they, they talked to me about the categorization, uh, classification, sorry. And I understand now where I'll be classified. So she showed me some timings. I got some work to do. Uh, I'm, I'm not anywhere near close to the timings or the distances of the people that came in first place last year. So I know I've got some work to do, but it's all good because I've seen improvements already from yesterday to the day in both rowing and swimming just by making some small changes. Um, you know, wearing legs, not wearing legs, what kind of prosthetics to use, backrests on the rower, 
I know I've got to get a new hand for rowing now because my hook kept slipping off. So it's a learning curve. Like you guys know, I've not done this before. Uh, it's the first time into any of these adaptive sports. So I'm starting from scratch. I've learned a lot in two days about the sport and about myself. And I'm feeling like I've got a, a purpose right now and something really, um, really positive to aim for. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm taking it very seriously. Representing my country is something I take very, very seriously. So I'm going to put everything that I've got into this. So like I said, I'm going to document it. So keep your eyes out. This should be going on YouTube very soon. Um, and keep checking out the social media because I'll do the Instagram stories, the Snapchats and do the live stuff as well. So I'll tune in with you guys very soon. Over and out from one... Very battered and very bruised former Royal Marine.